All right, so at this point, you might be asking, how do we get these images and where? So are they available to us? Are they for free? So to tell you about that, I would like to introduce our final speaker. So he is a university researcher who is also part of the team that develops new functionalities for DPAD and operation subsystems, primarily responsible for the data processing subsystems. He, is a, he has a degree in BS Electronics Engineering and is currently an MS Geomatics Engineering student. So please welcome engineer Nico Pante. Hello guys. So, so I will demonstrate the data, data distribution app, which link is located at the floor of the booth. So I will screen share. So I hope you can see the application now. So this app, the registration is free. So when I log in, you can see the, the image browser app. So on the map, you can see some tiles. So the red tiles indicates more images are present on that area. Below is a graph of the number of captured images over time. So you can use filters to limit the images on the right side. So you can use the map tools. So we have zoom in and zoom out. And you can also use your mouse to hover over the map. You can use the polygon filter to filter the images based on area. So for example, I want to see the images located in Laguna de Bay. It will immediately display the available images on that area. So to reset this the filter, you can use the remove filters button. You can use the pin filter to limit the images based on location. So for example, I want to see the images located in Mayon. It will again filter the images based on that location. So you can further limit or filter the images. So currently we are serving Diwata 1 and Diwata 2 images. You can use the satellite filter to filter which satellite the image was captured on. You can also filter by payload. So currently we are serving SMI images and HPT images are coming soon. You can also use the date of acquisition filters. Move, moving on, if you hover over the image, you can view the details using the view image details button. So it will display the the date it was captured and the payload it used and the wavelength. So you can download this image using the download image button. We'll, that, we'll download the image. So here's the, uh, the file. So here is the bundled download. So you have a GeoJSON, a GeoJSON that contains the metadata of the captured image. The L1A, which is the the digital number values. L1B is for the computed regions values. L1C is the computed top of the atmosphere reflectance values. You also have dash GCPS, which contains the ground control points uh, used for georeferencing the images. And uh, thumbnail to visually represent the image. So uh, if, so if your images are not found in the image browser app, you can request images using this 
site request.phl.microsoft.ubd.edu.ph Just locate where you want to have captured images on. That's all. Thank you.